I can't wait to come home to you. I can't wait to be home with you. We can sit by the fire, feeling cozy and fine. When I'm finally home with you. Recently, a very wise person reminded me that this marriage is so much more than a wedding. I want you to know that I love you. In front of all these people, and God is my witness, I love you. I vow to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in a silence when they are not. Our meeting seven years ago was indeed a little awkward. Messing up at my job didn't really end up too bad. I'm sure we'll hear more about this. You've made me the happiest man on earth today by agreeing to join families and to share your life with me. You're the love of my life and now my wife for all eternity. Your beauty today is coming from the same place it always has, from within. Someone once said mistakes have the power to turn you into something better than you were before. Seven years ago, I never imagined that a simple insurance mistake would lead to me meeting my soon-to-be husband. My director of nursing, who's in attendance, I'll never forget her, calling me into her office because somebody told that we kissed in the stairwell. So if that person's here today, I need you to run and tell this. <laughs> She heard the rumors on multiple occasions. From the moment we met, you always pushed me forward in life. It was you that pushed me into LPN school, and because of your love and support, in 15 short weeks, I'll have another degree. Byron, I love you so much. I promise to cherish and respect you I vow all of my life efforts will be emotionally and physically to build you up continuously. Here we go. <laughs> I do love you. I vow to stop taking your phone and yelling at me. And I promise that I'm here for the long run, through sickness and in health, till death do us part. Even then, I think I'll jump in a casket with you. I vow you'll never be alone, and when you are down, I will pick you up. And if I can't do that, then I promise to lay down beside you. Byron, you have completed my life, and I'm honored that you chose me to be your wife. I love you and look forward to our life together. Now the moment that you've all been waiting for, by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel, I declare that Byron and Crystal are now husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. So not only am I Crystal's older sister, I, I also stand here as Crystal's maid of honor tonight. I'm so proud and so humbled to wear that today. This is a glorious day. I know you say, listen, listen, listen. It's a glorious day. I know you say what I sing tonight. What I'm saying is there were some things walking around in Heinz Chapel tonight. That was undeniable, and I was so humbled and happy to be a part of that, you know? So, 
As the maid of honor tonight, I want to thank everybody for coming out to celebrate this day with us. For real, for real. Everybody showed up and we showing out tonight. We thank you for the family that has joined together. We ask that you would just continue to bless them for all the days of their lives. Lord, we ask that you bless this food as it nourishes our bodies. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. And we look forward to the, the rest of this evening and the blessings yet to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What I see in Crystal is a woman who loves Byron unconditionally and has his back 100% of the time. She's turned a house into a home and a grumpy old guy into a doting, gooing father. I wish you both love and happiness always. And if you'll raise a glass with me. To the bride and to the groom. After I opened my eyes, I saw this was a myth an amazing family and I'm now comfortable because they just opened their arms to me. There is so much love in this family. It's a great family. After all I've gone through, they made me comfortable. I cannot wait for the wedding. This is like the best family ever in history. You could never meet a better family. This will be the happiest day of my life. I cannot believe that Crystal is saying, said I do today. And for it to be anybody but Byron, I couldn't imagine. 